It's now time for Marvin's exposure, and I'm really worried about the next level for him. So, as you can see, we are here in the beautiful Golden Gate Dog Park. You don't go to parks, do you? Mm -mm. Why not? No. Why? Dog, they're dog friendly. Well, Beaches, that sounds parks. like a good thing. To you, not to me. Okay. This exposure is gonna bring up a lot of pain and memories from the past. Oh, hell no. Hey, oh. hey. Hey, no. hey, Marvin, uh, Marvin, uh, stay with oh, me. This pit bull puppy comes around a corner. My heart, like, almost jumped out of my body. Stay with me. Stay with me. Mm. You're okay. You're okay. Stay with me. Uh, Let's do this together. You're good. You're in control. If you're backing uh, up, you're running from your fear. We'll let the dog get closer to you, but I don't want you to back up. This dog represents 40 years of being in pain. So can I let the dog come closer? A little bit. Okay. Tell her when to stop. I'm gonna let you tell her, okay? All right, good, good, good. You're good. Do not look away from the dog, okay? Go ahead and come a little bit closer. Yeah. Right. Okay. Think of your family who is not gonna want you to suffer. I think you should pet the dog. See, no, she's looking at me, no. Marvin, come on, Marvin. Ooh. Think of your girls. Think of your girls. Think of your girls. <laughs> I ran a coward. You're not a coward. You are not a coward. You are a strong person. You're not a coward, Marvin. I close my eyes and I go back in time, like where I was when I was five years old. This is why you're confronting your fear, because you can't keep living like this. You can't keep living in sheer terror. Enough is enough. My babies. I know. I can't my babies. I know. So much. You cannot leave being afraid still. I know you're going to be scared, but you have to touch the dog before you leave. I'm sorry. Walk up to the dog. I can see you shaking. Look at you. Dogs know fear, they go after fear. I know it's tough, but you're moving forward and you're regaining your life. That dog, that dog can't come inside here. No, 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 no. Hey, he can't be that dog inside here. Pet bull gotta go. I can't get his car wash. Take it somewhere else. No vice, yeah. I don't give a Pet bulls and me don't get along. My name is Marvin Cruz. I'm 47 years of age. I'm terrified of pit bulls. My phobia started about maybe five, six years old. My neighbor from like two doors down came over and we're playing in the yard, playing ball. Um, this pit bull came in the backyard and was growling, going crazy. It attacked my neighbor, arms, legs, back, chest, I mean, everywhere. He had over a thousand stitches on his body. Ever since then, you know, if I see a pit bull, I'm ice cold, I'm frozen, I can't move. Babe, see anything out there? It's good? Yeah, honey, it's clear. You sure? When we go for walks, we don't go far. We, like, stay around. And my dad, if he does walk with us, we'll use a four-wheeler. Come on, sweet pea. She's sniffing. <laughs> Just looking at him, he looks like he's not scared of anything. But when it comes to the pit bulls, he'll just freeze up like a little baby. My kids, on their birthday, my wife took them to the park. I'm at home. I want to go to parks. It's sad, you know? It's a shot that I should have been in. My kids' friends are always saying, where's your dad? Do you have a dad? He's never here. And it hurts. It hurts a lot. Cheers. I need his treatment to get back to life again, to get back to reality. 